Okay, today I'm going to be demonstrating an implementation of A star, which is a pathfinding algorithm. Get it started up here. So this is written in Python uh, and Pygame, which is an SDL wrapper. Um, as the name implies, sort of usually used for games, but useful for any graphical application you're working on. The map itself has a green and a red square indicating the start and end points. Um, the blue squares are barriers, and the black squares are traversable areas of the map. So you'll see as I move my green square using the arrow keys, it finds the best path between the two and changes it accordingly. A star is um, sort of a variation on Dijkstra's algorithm. Uh, it uses a heuristic to figure out, to make a guess as to um, what the best path would be and it uses that in calculating the score from one position to another. Uh, in this example the heuristic being used is the Manhattan implementation which is very simple. All it does is figures out the X and Y um, coordinate differences between the two points and uses that as the approximation of how far it is. Um, you can use different heuristics with different results in different maps. So let me close this, and this also works with uh, hex maps. Let me just copy that into the, oops, the settings here and run that. So what's interesting about A star is that it's extremely flexible. Um, here we have it working with a hexagon grid and really the only thing that needed to change was the adjacency function the thing that tells the program what nodes or positions on the map are next to or available to the current one and it's a little different obviously with hexes because you don't have just the four orthogonal directions you have six um, up down and then diagonals to the left and right I'll generate another one here You can also very easily, because it's using numbers internally to, to score different paths, you can make the nodes of the grid or the positions on the grid have values associated with them. So if there was a piece of terrain that was more difficult to traverse, you could assess, or you could, you could assign it rather, a score that means that it's more difficult. And when it calculates the paths, it will take that score into consideration and it simply works um, when it when it, you know assuming you're putting in numbers that make sense for difficulty, um, the algorithm will just account for that and give you the best path, provided that the terrain has different uh, movement values or I guess difficulties um, traversing it. So yeah, this is um, up on GitHub. It's not very complicated. Um, it's commented, the algorithm itself is commented pretty well, so you should be able to see um, how it works. And there's a great um, tutorial on gamedev.net, which is a great resource um, for a lot of pathfinding or algorithm uh, questions you might have. Um, and they do a fantastic job of explaining this and what you can do with it. So yeah, check it out, play around with it. It's kind of fun. Alright, thanks for watching.